Okay. Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss problems based on the projection of points. So if you just look out over the screen, we have total 10 problems. So we are going to discuss all those problems one by one. If you just read out the first problem, in that they have given projection for the point K. And they have given the distance 40 mm above the horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane. So in that case, we are going to complete the projection as per the first angle projection method. Okay. So by the dimensions, we come to know that the given point A is placed in a first quadrant. So we will get front view projection above the XY line and top view projection below the XY line. So that we are going to complete over here. So to have the projection for the point, first of all, we have to create layers over here. Okay. So already I have created layers <coughs> during our previous lecture session. So again, I'm going to create it for this session as well. So just type layer over the keyboard, press enter button. The another window will get pop up over the screen. So over here, you will find one option, create new layer. So just click on that. And here you have to mention the layer name. So in that case, I'm going to use as a projection. Again, to the next, we have these three options. Okay, so just keep these options as it is and click over this color option. So just click over that, another window will appear for the screen. In that, we are going to select this cyan color. Again, we can keep the projection line weight as it is. Now to have the object line, we can create another layer over here. And there we can give naming as an object. <coughs> Again, just select a color for that object line. So I'm going to keep this as a white color. Now I want to change the line weight for this object. Okay. So that we can change by clicking over here. So just click over there and we can select this point third. Okay. Now once we're done with this initial setting, just close this window for this layer. Now here you can see we have added these two layers. The one is for the object and second one is for the projection. Now initially I am going to use this projection layer so that I can draw one XY axis with respect to that we can take all the projections in a front view as well as in a top view projection. So just select this projection layer, go with the line command and exactly at the middle you can just draw one reference axis like this. Okay. Now just turn on this ortho mode command so that we can have exactly horizontal line over there and press enter button to come out of this. Okay. Now here we have to mention naming as a x y okay so just go with this text annotation in that you have to go with this single line text just select a point where we want to give naming for this line just click once over there and you have to define height for that text so i'm going to use 2.5 as a text height just press enter button now you can see over the screen one cursor is blinking over there there we can type naming as a x okay now to have a naming at the other end for this line, just click once over here. Again, that cursor will appear over the screen. Just type Y over there. Now to come out of this selected single line text, just click outside of that box and press escape button. Now you can see over the screen, we have X, Y line over there. Okay. With respect to that, we can start our projections. So the first problem we have, the projection for the point A, to which we have 40 mm distance above the HP and 20 mm distance in front of VP. So above this XY line we have to take 40 mm distance and below that XY line we have to keep 20 mm distance to represent that point. Now before that you will find one object snap option over here. Okay. So by default it is on. So just turn off this object snap and just go with this line option. Okay. So that we are able to click in between for this x y line. Okay. Now if I move my cursor over there, you can see that cursor horizontal line is going to be turned into red color like this. So that we can have exact horizontal line over there. Like this. Okay. So just select that point and move over your cursor in upward direction. There we can take 40 mm distance like this. So just type 40 mm distance and press enter button. Again to come out of that, press enter button once again. Again to activate our previous command, we can either press a space bar or enter button. Okay. 
now again we are in line command so just select the same point that we have selected over here now to have that exact point now we can turn on this object snap so that it is visible to have that exact point over there okay by this square and below we are going to take 20 mm distance just type that distance over there and press enter button okay so likewise we have that projection with respect to this x y line so this distance is nothing but the above the x y line okay and this distance is nothing but the below the x y line so we have this point over this frontal reference plane and we have this point over this horizontal reference plane that we are going to observe while looking from the top end now we are going to complete the dimensions for this by means of the same layer so just select this linear dimension method select this point as well as this end point and move your cursor like this again to activate this previous command press space bar or enter button again we are going to select this point and this point we will get 20 mm distance over there so by this way we have completed these projections now the main thing is that though we have taken the projection line over here to represent this 40 mm and 20 mm distance so at the end we have to represent one single point over there so that we can easily identify which point we have over there okay and what is the naming for it so to have that just go with this object layer okay now over this screen you have to move your cursor and just type donut over the keyboard <coughs> okay and press enter button <coughs> now initially you have to specify the inner diameter is equals to 0 press enter button outside diameter is equals to 2 again press enter button now we have to select these end points that we want to highlight by means of this donut option so just pick that end point over there now you, we are able to see this projections over the screen for that particular point now you can see we have completed projection for that point A okay to which we have distance 40 mm above the xy line and 20 mm below the xy line now the remaining part is that we have to complete nomenclature for this isn't it so to have that again just go with the single line text okay here you have to enter 2.5 as a text type press enter button again we have to select a point where we want to name it so initially we are going to name it over here okay so this is nothing but the point a h or f h okay again just move your cursor over here and just click once over there this will be the point a f so by this way we have completed our first problem like this now you can see we are able to see the projection for that point a with respect to this given reference x y axis now we will solve this third problem for the point c the point c is given in horizontal plane and 50 mm in front of vertical plane okay so that we can complete with respect to this x y line so again to have that projection first of all we have to select one point over this x y line so to have a point over there just turn off this object snap okay go with this projection line again you have to select line command and just move your cursor over this x y line so that that horizontal line is going to be turned into red color so that we have exact point over this x y line so just select that point move your cursor in a downward manner so what is the distance they have given for the second point 50 mm in front of vp so that we are going to complete below this x y line so this distance we have to take 50 mm over here so just enter that value and press enter button like this so we have projection for that over here okay now again we are going to turn on this post snap so that we can easily recognize these end points and we can mention the dimensions with respect to the starting point and the end point over here like this okay now again to have the donut points over here so just type donut over the keyboard press enter button and just select this end points so this will be our end point and this will be our starting point with respect to this x y axis and just press escape button to come out of this now i have completed that projection in a projection layer okay 
So to change that, just select these two donate points and change this layer option with respect to object and just press enter button. Now you can see that points are going to be turned into white color. Okay. Now to give naming over here, you can use this previously given nomenclature. So just select that naming over there by clicking once for this letter and just copy it by control C again press control V and you can shift this point over here again we can use control V and the same point we can move over here now suppose I want to change this nomenclatures so this point is nothing but the point BH that we have over here so just select that point and double click once so this blue rectangle will get enabled and just click over there and you can replace that alphabet A by capital B okay similarly you can edit this nomenclature as well so just select it and click once and you can write BH sorry this will be the point BF sorry CF so we have taken third problem for solution so this will be the point C so let me correct this as well so this will be the point C so by this way we have completed the solution for this third problem as well ok now we will solve this sixth number problem in that we have to complete projection for the point P we have point P in a horizontal plane and 40 mm behind the vertical plane which means that they have given point P in a second part ok so when we are going to complete projection for the point in a second quadrant all the projections we are going to complete above the xy line ok so that we are going to complete over here so just remember these dimensions for mm behind the vertical plane ok now we are going to complete the projection for that point P to which we have 40 mm distance behind the vertical plane which means that we have that point P in a second quadrant so just turn off this object snap initially select this projection layer go with this line command and select one point over this xy line ok so just select that point anywhere over this xy line like this now as we have that point P in a second pattern we will get this projection above this xy line so that distance they have given 40 over here so just type that distance and press enter button and to come out of that selected line command press enter button once again now by this way we have completed projection with respect to that given point P so let's give dimension for this again just turn on this object snap so that we can easily find this starting point and end point over there ok again just copy this previous nomenclatures and place over here ok again the same we can copy over here and place over here now just edit this by double clicking over this nomenclature this will be the point P ok and as we have this point P in a second quadrant this will be the point P H ok so this will be the point P H again we have to edit this by replacing this C by alphabet P ok so by this way we have completed this nomenclature as well now the remaining thing is that we have to highlight these end points by this tool so just select this two points this will be the first point and second point again to change this color just select these two points once and change its object layer. now by this way we have completed the solution for this point P given in a second part ok now we will solve problem number 8 for this point R in that case they have given this point R 20 mm below the HP and 20 mm behind the VP which means that this point R is placed in a third part so we have to complete projection for this point R by means of third angle projection method so in this case we will get front view projection below the xy line and top view projection above the xy line ok 
so that are 20 20 dimensions we have to take to complete this projection of point r so again just zoom this portion so that we can refer this x y line again turn off this object snap select this line command make sure that we are working in our projection layer select any point over this x y line and we have to take 20 mm distance below this x y line again 20 mm distance above this x y line okay now again just turn on this object snap so that we will get this point over there again enter 20 mm distance press enter button so by this way we have completed projection for this point r placed in a third part okay now let me measure this distances like this again measure the distance for this front view as well now we have to give nomenclature for these end points so let me select this donut command and place donuts over these end points like this again place that donut over here itself press escape button now we have to give nomenclature over here now let me go with this single line text select this point mention 2.5 as a text height that cursor will appear over there so we are going to complete projection for this point r okay now this point will be the point r h or f as we have in a third quad okay so what should be the projection r h okay now this will be the point r f okay so by this way we have completed this projection for this point r as well okay so these are the solutions for these selected problems so you may try the other problems to construct over this advocate software thank you